The people of Addu are famous for their kindness and for taking care of their visitors. They have welcomed the visitors for a very long time since there was a hospital located in Gang. During those days, many people from nearby visited Addu for medical treatments and for other benefits. We, the Adduans, looked after our visitors very well. Today, Addu is famous for its hospitality. Let's meet and talk about some people who have walked and visited Addu. Let's talk about Addu. My name is Axel. I'm in charge here for the dive center in Ecuador village. And first I want to introduce myself. I have, I have been here the first time in the Maldives 1972 as a normal tourist at the Bandos Island Resort. There was, I was one of the first tourists here in the Maldives. Then I came every year as a tourist until 1978. And in 1978, I went to Curedo Island Resort as a dive base leader. So I have been uh, in many resorts in the Maldives. In the beginning, for example, I have been also in Mburu village. And uh, in 1974, I met Mr. Kandi Ismail at, uh, at uh, Vinengili in the Mala Atoll. It was the first time, and since then we have been in good contact. So, um, 2004, at this time I was on Bandos Island Resort, and I had a special course, a technical diving course, with two journalists, with two European journalists, and they asked me whether I have been here in Addo Atoll or not. I say no, I never had been there. So they are asking me to go there. So after the tsunami at the, end, uh, at the end of the year in 2004, I make the decision to go to Aduato. Since then I have been here beginning of January 2005 until now. So why is Ado the best place in my opinion? So first I was astonished regarding the coral reefs here. The huge stable corals, untouched at this time, there was no tourist at all. And uh, we have special things here. As you know, the British loyalty, the biggest shipwreck in the Maldives. Very nice covered with soft and hard corals. Then we have the very, very famous Manta Point. Uh, the thing is, I mean, you can find mantas in everywhere in the Maldives, but uh, we have the only Manta Point where you can find the mantas the whole year by ingoing current. So we have this very famous manta point in Addu Atoll. There you can see the mantas the whole year round. I mean, uh, the difference to other places in the Maldives is you can see also on other places uh, the manta play, the mantas turning around. But this is the only place where you can see the mantas the whole year round. And uh, this is very famous. You, you don't have only the manta rays, also the grey reef sharks, white tip reef sharks. All together, sometimes we had tiger sharks and even hammerhead sharks. Then you can find nurse sharks and uh, also uh, lemon sharks, nurse sharks, etc. So it depends on the season, we also can find the giant Pacific manta rays. This is a special kind of manta rays that can grow up to six meters. 
and they are normally here in uh, February, March, April, even in, uh, in September, October, November. And even we can find here also whale sharks, very rare, but sometimes we have them here. And uh, then also whales, like pilot whales, underwater, really, and uh, also pineapple dolphins, the giant dolphins, and uh, bottlenose dolphins. This is fantastic and very interesting. We can do also here channel dives. That means we are drifting with the current into the channel, and then you can see everything. Um, every place is for for beginners and even for advanced open water divers. So there is no problem at all. They have drop-offs on the other side. Beautiful wall up to 40 meters of depth with very nice, beautiful soft guards. And we have some overhangs there. They are covered full with sponge and gorgonia, etc. The local people are very, very friendly. They invited you to drink a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or they will uh, offer you short eats, so small things, etc. And you will realize that they are really friendly. And that's not only on one island, this is on every island. I was uh, some years ago for, for two years in Maradu Fedu. I was involved in this, uh, this kind of business, you know. I realized that they are very, very, very friendly. I like them very much. They have very friends here and you will realize that this is a good opportunity for you also. So you can take a bike or a, a mountain bike, something like that, and in, then you can uh, go to the local islands and even to, uh, to Hitadu, where is the national park. And if you see the national park, there is this beautiful area. It's uh, fully protected there. You have to pay an entry fee, but it doesn't matter. You can rent a canoe boat, you can walking around, and you have a guide, travel guide, and uh, they will show you everything. Um, on the way back, you can go again to a coffee, drinking a coffee or a tea, something like that, and then you're coming back. It's not so far away, it's about 16 kilometers from here, so this is a uh, a good opportunity to go there. Well, that was interesting, isn't it? We'll talk about more people on the next episode of Let's Talk About Aldo. Thank you. Please subscribe below for more videos.